Today I'm going to show you how to make a custom iPhone case in Blender. And before you watch this video, you should look up on YouTube how to use the basic controls of Blender because I'm going to go quickly and not really show you how I'm, just show you the buttons I'm clicking, not how to move around and things like that. So let's get started. So first I'm going to want to delete, delete the camera and delete the light. So let's go over here, delete, click on the light, delete. So I'm going to delete this cube now. And for our school, we have a logo that I want to put in the case. So I'm going to import that picture now. So go over to this plus sign that was right up here. Then come to background images, check that. Do the drop down, add image. So you're going to want to add open. And I put this image on my desktop, WASD logo. So I'm just going to click on that, open image. And you don't see the image because you're not in the correct viewing mode. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to go to view and go to view perspective and ortho mode. So I'm going to do that and then one more time view top or view sorry view front and there is our our picture. So now I'm going to want to trace around this picture and to do that you can go to add mesh cube. So now we have a cube here and we're going to want to separate a point out of this cube so we can trace it around our picture. So I'm going to go switch from object mode to edit mode and I'm going to make sure I'm on vertice selection and select one of these points and I'm going to press keyboard P and separate and I'm going to press selection. So now over here you can see how we have our cube and our cube right here and then our one point that we separated out. I'm going to want to delete this cube because I don't need it anymore and now we have our single point. So I'm going to now I see this point right here. I'm going to drag it to the top corner of my logo. It doesn't need to be perfect. So I have that there. Now I'm going to want to go into edit mode. And I'm going to extrude this point all around the picture. So go to extrude. And you can see how it makes a line now. So I'm going to extrude all around. And you can press E on your keyboard for short. Okay, so now I have two points left here. What I'm going to want to do is press shift and select this point. We'll make sure you're on vertice selection first. So press that, take that point, press shift and select the other point too. So now you have both those selected and you can press Oops, sorry, I'm moving them. You can press F to fill them, and that will fill a line in between both of them. So now we have our shape traced out, and now I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select every vertice in the shape. So make sure you're in vertice select mode, and select every point, and keep shift key, the shift key held down. It doesn't want to select for me for some reason. press the F key and that will fill your shape. So now we have, if you rotate it, pressing the middle mouse button, you can see I have my Y missing logo all traced out and it's now a plane. So now what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to take this face selection mode and you can move it around and I'm going to press extrude region and now I have a three dimensional logo. So you see there. And on the picture so if you go back to the picture, view ortho, view front, I guess the picture's not there anymore, but within the picture, it had a triangle cut out of the middle. So I'm going to do that real quick. So I'm going to add mesh cylinder, and I'm going to change the cylinder's vertices to three, and that will basically make me a triangle. Oh, sorry, wait, we need to go into... we're going to need to go into object mode to add a cylinder. My fault. So go to add mesh cylinder and there is our cylinder. You can see there. So we're going to want to rotate it so we can put it through the middle of the shape. So you go up to the, down over here and we press, I think it's going to be Y, 90 degrees. It's not. 
like it's maybe the X. It is the X. So you're going to want to rotate the X 90 degrees. And I'm going to want to extrude this shape and make it a little longer. So face selection mode. Select one of the faces. If it wants to select. There we go. And extrude region. Make it a little bigger. So now I have that. And I can go back into object mode. Drag it through the middle of my shape uh, and use it a little bigger. Back to object mode. Okay, that's there. So now I'm going to drag it to about the middle of my shape. I'm going to scale it down a little bit by pressing S. So now I have that in the middle of my shape. And I'm going to use a modifier, add modifier, boolean modifier, and I'm going to do union with the cylinder. And now that cylinder is now cut out for my shape. So I'm going to press apply, and I can delete my cylinder. I don't need this anymore. Press the eyeball to make it right here and delete. Okay, so now I have my logo. Now what you're going to do is you're going to go on Thingverse and you're going to download an iPhone case with whatever phone you have and you're going to go import STL and I have mine on my desktop iPhone 5S case STL so I'm going to import that and now I have my 5S case imported. So now I'm going to select my Wild logo and I'm going to want to position it on my case. So to do that, I need to rotate it. So I believe I'm going to do Z 90 degrees and it's going to be the X 90 degrees also. 90. Negative 90. There we go. So Z 90 degrees, X negative 90. And I'm going to want to scale it a lot bigger so it goes through both both halves of my iPhone. So that looks maybe a little bigger than that. Okay, that's good. So now you have your Wild logo. It's going through both halves of my iPhone, which is good. And now you're going to want to add text here, case. So it's nice and customized to how you do it. And you don't have to add your school logo. You could just start right at this step and then just add import your phone case and add text. So we're going to add text and the text should appear right here. So there's their text. So shift to pan over and I'm going to just tab and we'll put Paul for my name. So now you have Paul. And it was tab to edit the tab to edit the text. So anytime you add text, tab, and it'll edit it. And then you press tab to go out of edit mode. So to scale it up, you press S. I'm going to do a little more. And now we need to extrude this. This isn't like the regular extruding. You can just come over to here, this panel, and you can find the F key. You click that, scroll down to extrude, 0.5, and now you have that extruded. We're going to want to rotate it now. So we're going to go up to Z, and it's going to be 90 degrees. So we have that. So our 90 degrees, and then we're going to scale it a little more, just so it fits through the case and it looks large. And you can see how it goes through both sections of the case. So I can zoom out, position it in the center. Looks good. So now we're going to want to cut out these from the case. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on the case. We're going to add a Boolean modifier to go over to the wrench. Add modifier, Boolean. And we're going to go to intersect, and you're going to want to click on your cube, which is that case, the Y logo. And now, when you make the Y logo invisible, you have it cut out. So we can keep that invisible. Press apply. Now you're going to want to click on your text. You're going to go to object, convert to, 
mesh for curve, meta, surface, and text. So you click that. Now you need to click back on the case, have that selected, add another Boolean modifier, but this time you're going to want to do difference. And go to the text. And now you can make your text invisible. So now we have our cutout iPhone case. So you can just 3D print this right now if you wanted to, but I want to dual extrude mine. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just export this, and this is going to be my first STL that I drag into Makerware. So go to export. STL, and I'm going to go Paul iPhone case part one, PT one. So this is going to be my actual iPhone case. So I'm going to export. Okay, so after we have the case exported with the cutout letters, we're going to need to conform the Y sign and the to our text to the case, so we can dual extrude it. So you're going to go ahead and import another version of that STL case. So the iPhone 5S case. So you import that there. I have a version already imported. So I'm just going to make that visible. So I have my case right here with the letters going through it this in the same exact place that I had in the cutout version. So now what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to select the case and I'm going to go to modifiers, boolean, and I'm going to click on click on difference modifier. So we have difference right here, and you're going to select the cube 0.01, and you can see how it now has the thin slice there. So you can just make the Y logo or the cube up there invisible, and you have a thin Y logo now. So you can go ahead, you can go ahead and apply the modifier and make the cube, the Y logo visible again, and delete that. So now we have our Y assigned. Now we need to do the same thing for our text. So add another case, import STL, iPhone 5 case, and I'm going to need to rotate my 90 negative 90 degrees and drag it. Your text will be in position, but since I started and stopped the video, mine is not. Okay, so now I have that there. I'm going to want to scale down this a little, a little bit. So now to do that, you click on the text, add modifier, and you're going to click boolean. Make sure the text is mesh, boolean, and I'm going to go to union with the uh, 5S case. I think it's the other one. It's one of these. There it is. It's intersect. So you're going to want to intersect it with the case. So now when you make this case invisible, you have Paul and you have your Y logo at the same width. So now you're going to want to click Shift, select the Y logo, and you're the name. So now both are selected, and go to Export, STL and you're going to have it's exported as like um, what iPhone letters and you can put that to where you want it I'm going to put it to desktop where my other one was so now what you're going to do is you're going to go into your makerware or whatever 3D printing software you use and import both STLs, measure them up so one's inside the other, and change the color of one, and then you'll have your iPhone case ready to print. Thank you.